welcome back to the 7 days channel today i don't even know from where to start because i'm speaking about my bachelor i think i need to explain a couple of things before starting from where i live from the north of italy when we do bachelor the bride has no idea about where to go what to do and when is the bachelor? Three months before my wedding, I visited my parents in my hometown. So I was kind of suspicious. My sister one day told me, let's go out for a drink. So I said, maybe it's now. But then we were there for two hours, nothing happened. So I was like, okay, it's not right now. And then suddenly a bag came out of nowhere. And inside I found a tin jar with written Casa. Okay, so this just came out. <laughs> casa. So I had to explain you that casa in Italian means cashier, and it was written in a kind of Greek decoration because I was living in Greece. So my genius friend decided to paint it out. Now it urged another explanation again. The bride doesn't know what's gonna happen in the bachelor, but the bride has to collect money for the bachelor. So you actually have something that is a cashier, this time was this tin jar, and then you have to collect money around from strangers. But to start doing so, I had to reach my friends. So I got inside the bag also an envelope, an envelope with a riddle, in Italian of course, and I had to figure out what bar I had to go next. D'ora in poi ne vedrai delle belle con rifiuto alle scudelle. Brava! Okay, so I had to figure out where to go next and I know where to go. When I reached the first bar, not all my friends were there because I had to get other envelopes with other riddles to go in other bars to collect all of them. It was a kind of a lot of pit stops. And when I reached the first bar with the first friends, they were waiting for me with another bag full of fabrics to make a bachelor wedding dress. That was genius. Because as you already know, I was preparing my own wedding dress. So they decided to give fabric also for the bachelor wedding dress. Orquidunque, hai imbastito la prima parte del tuo vestito? Guardate che vestito meraviglioso! Ma per andare avanti con la tua creazione corri e corri in torrefazione. Brava! Bravissima! We also had some gadget as headbands. I had a red one because I was the bride and all the others had the white one. So everyone could know that we were a part of a group. Also in the first part, we started to collect money, but the big deal was in the second one. I solved the second riddle, I went to the second bar, I met with other friends, and then they gave me this necklace full of potatoes. <laughs> you have to know that in Italian, when you say potato, you mean the JJ area. <laughs> I had to ask strangers to peel my potato and to, and to get money from it. It was so embarrassing because I hate these kind of things. So my friends tried to help me. But as you can see from the footages, I was so embarrassed. In the last riddle, it was written that I had to come back in the first bar. And in the way to get the first bar, I collected the last friends of mine that gave me the veil. And the veil, it was actually one of the veil that I did for another bachelor. So it's actually passing through the friends. <laughs> when I got into the last bar, the wedding march was playing and actually my future husband was there waiting for me. <laughs> and I 
don't know why I could never ever imagine it so I started crying as if it was the wedding day <laughs> actually normally you don't do the bachelor with your spouse but because my husband is Greek and he was alone at home with my parents my friends thought that okay maybe he can reach us in the last part of the bachelor and it was the greatest idea ever we start dancing with Greek songs it was amazing <laughs> Not even speaking about my bachelor wedding dress that I loved and I actually reused it in my real wedding. I will tell you in the next episode how. When I reached home, I was going around with my bachelor wedding dress super duper happy. My first wedding dress! Now starts the part that I wasn't actually expecting at all. I had a second bachelor. One day my friends just sent me a ticket to Rome and I was like, what? So I had to prepare my things and I flew to Rome. And the surprises for this wedding are not over yet. I am preparing my suitcase because my beloved friends, Italian friends, booked me a trip for Rome. So I'm leaving for Rome today, for two days. It was kind of hard because I just started a new job and I had to ask uh, uh, permission for my bachelor and permission for my wedding. But it's done, it's set, I'm ready to go. I still have hundreds and tons of things to do for the wedding, but I really try to relax and not think about them in these two days and I try to enjoy. Let's go! I'm gonna take pajama, a couple of changes, something for the evening, and these two. <laughs> In the way to Athens, I had a small problem because I couldn't use my car and I had to use my future husband's car that is giant. It's a pickup Navara. And let's say that I'm not so used to drive this kind of huge cars. Shush, ready to go. Not so much ready anymore because I'm driving this giant car. I don't know if you can see it. Like, look, where can I go? With my hand and it's a little bit not comfortable, but let's hope that it will be good in the um, highway. Here is a clip from the plane. I know one day I will have children, but for now... <laughs> <laughs> When I arrived in Rome, my friends were already expecting me and I think that the second that the door opened, anyone knew that it was a bachelor party. We were kind of loud. And the PS, they were waiting for me with this poster, Sara Nana. My name is Sara Nana and Nana in Italian means dwarf. And I am kind of two meters high, so that's why it was a kind of a joke. We had immediately a quick walk in Rome by night. We reached Castel Sant'Angelo and <laughs> we were playing the Castel Sant'Angels. I know, it's super stupid. It's like the Charlie's Angels, Castel Sant'Angels. Okay, it was a bachelor. It was a bachelor. Castel Sant'Angels on duty. Eh, ma ragazze. Dove sono le Castel Sant'Angel? On duty. Ah, ma è un video, eh? Sì, Castel Sant'Angel! Ma no! Così! And then we had a tagliere in a restaurant. You have to know that one of the things that I'm missing more from Italy are cold cuts and cheese. Oh my god, I'm always thinking about Italian cold cuts and cheese. Like, I was enjoying this tagliere so much. <laughs> the day after, we did a little bit of tourism. We went to Fontana di Trevi, Piazza di Spagna, Palazzo Zuccari, Villa Borghese. And then we stopped in a nice Roman restaurant to have lunch and wine. <laughs> inside 
we are outside, but we are drinking already. And video. You see? <laughs> Ready to go. Argentina. <laughs> After that, we tried to enter St. Peter's in Vatican, but the queue was so long that we ended up in a bar. In this bar, they gave me another cashier and another poster. It is actually written, in Italy, yesterday there was the freedom, because it was the day before it was a freedom day. But from tomorrow, for me, starts the prison. And collecting money from Roman people, let me tell you, was even more embarrassing than what, that what I did in my hometown. Because at least in my hometown, everyone used to do so. In Rome, no one knows it. So I was kind of a crazy girl with this kind of poster, with a cashier asking for money. So... I was even trying to stop people in the street because we couldn't collect money, so I was desperate. <laughs> The day after it was actually a tragedy because we had to check out from our BNB at 10 o'clock. We went home, I don't even know at what time, so we hadn't slept at all. We had a couple of drinks more than we should. So I was a zombie. I was really so worried that my body couldn't make it, like flying back home to Athens and then driving three hours to reach Patra. But the craziest thing of all was that my friends were actually okay, so they kept doing touristic things. In the meanwhile, I was napping in a park in front of La Boca de la Verita. That was the craziest idea we, that we had. And then they freaked out because they couldn't find me and I was sleeping so I couldn't say where I was. So they started to say, we lost the bride. It was actually a crazy trip. I had so much fun. Then it was time to come back home and when I tried to get the train, I couldn't find the truck. When your truck is number 18 and there is no number 18. Maybe I'm gonna go to the truck. Nine and three quarter quarters. After all of these adventures, I came back home safely and recollecting these moments, I'm thinking how crazy friends I have and how grateful I am to have them. Finally home. Happy Easter for all Orthodox. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the 7 Days channel, please give a like and subscribe is the red button down there. And I will see you soon with the next one. Bye!